Conus Weather, keep going. Okay. On time and uh, any uh, surprise updates? Nothing yep. expected, plan. Okay. Thanks a lot, Houston. No. But we'll go for the gimbal check when they're ready, and on 3-8, we will need the alt uh, body bending filter again today. Copy that. Thanks. Vectors on board. Crew is a go to reload targets. Copy. Discovery, the state vectors on board. You have a go to reload targets. Load them up. Guidance. Discovery Houston for a weather update. Go ahead, Houston. Wanted to talk to you. We, this is about an hour prior to uh, sunset for your landing, so the sun's going to be about 14 degrees above the horizon and about 30 degrees right of your nose, but Scooter would like to pass on that the sun should be an issue given that the, uh, with the high clouds, so when we did the STA runs, we didn't see anything, so the sun shouldn't be an issue. Oh, that's great news. Thanks for the update. The one other thing we'd like you to up update you on is the weather looks uh, great at Edwards. Right now, the current winds are 08010, peak 14, so on 22, that gives you a 12-knot tailwind. We're still looking at 22, and we're, we're just debating right now whether nominal or short field, so we're kind of looking at those winds. Uh, Scooter commented that with short field he had a slightly higher workload, so we're still leaning towards the nominal. Okay, that sounds great. Whatever, uh, whatever the STA pilot thinks, they'll be giving us. Burn enabled. Copy. Proper burning, two good engines. Good news, prop. Good control flight. Good news, GNC. We're ready. Just got to be ready for that maneuver. Okay, you can continue. You can see on this high-speed loop, we've got the towers all to the southwest of the 30-mile circle that have turned to that southwesterly direction with the peaks in the mid-teens to uh, lower 20s. And in response to this pressure gradient, the winds at the towers at the uh, Edwards complex have started to respond by turning to the southeast, a little more southeasterly than easterly. I believe that's in response to the pressure gradient between Edwards and Palmdale. In the last hour, we had uh, just a very minor pressure gradient, but I think that's an indication that the wind shift is coming, okay. going to be coming through Edwards. All right, but you're saying that it is a race condition. There is a possibility that it may not be there in time. Affirmative. Okay. Let's uh, let's think about what uh, what we need to do, and uh, just to uh, refresh our memory. Um, Weather Capcom, what were what were the assessments from the STA dives for Edwards 04 in these conditions? Really, we, we may have the conditions that he flew um, earlier be present still at touchdown. What uh, can you characterize Edwards 04 and Edwards 22 for me? 
Uh, sure. Uh, first, we'll start with 04. Uh, he uh, flew nominal short field to 04, uh, had uh, good touchdown numbers, normalized to 2,400 feet. And uh, in, in both cases, uh, he, he, with the conditions he flew him and then characterized the, the runways as, as both equivalent from a workload uh, perspective. Uh, and for 2-2, for uh, really nothing much to add for the first one that he flew nominal, nominal. So uh, uh, at the conditions at the time, which are probably about uh, at least an hour ago, uh, he considered them equivalent runways. Okay, uh, Kevin's going to be starting uh, APUs 1 and 3 here in about 15 seconds. Flight Max will be watching. And we are ready for that. And just for a weather update, we've got uh, winds, current winds right now are 100 degrees, 11 peak 16, so that works out on a 2-2 runway. That would be 12 knots crosswind, 10 knots of tailwind. So we are considering selecting a 04. We just wanted to let you know that we're talking about it. Just a heads up, we didn't see the CDR or PLT turn their flight control power on. They usually, CJ I think usually gets it before the entry maneuvers cue card, but uh, right now they're both off. Just a fly. Okay. Go to 2 2 or 0 4, you're going to need short field. That's correct. Okay. They're equivalent from that standpoint. The uh, speed brakes, roughly 40%, roughly within 40% uh, of each other. That's right. They're, they're roughly the same, also equivalent. Uh, clearly, there is a better benefit on the touchdown ground speed. Max, we've got tires that can handle increased ground speeds. Is that true? Flight, what ground speed are you talking about? 218. Oh, give me a few minutes, flight, to verify. Okay. Like, I'm taking a second and GPS. Let's take them. Discovery, take TAC and take GPS. Taking TAC and and GPS. To the onboard, we have short field speed brake selected. Short field is selected. Good configuration. Thank you. Fly GNC, let's take air data, GNC. Antonav. Take air data. Discovery, take air data. Take an air data, Houston. Okay, final updates to winds and weather. Flight, no updates to winds or weather, and we are on energy approaching the hack. GNC. We had a good repo, sir. Max. Flight Max, late shoot for the direct shoot DTO. Still on. Discovery, Houston, on energy, approaching the hack. No changes to winds or weather. For the crosswind DTO, we'll be late shoot deploy. Folks, we're rolling up on the hack. Runway inside, Houston. Discovery, we copy. Delta's max. None. 
Eagle. None. Ecom. None. GNC. None. Prop. None. EPS. None. Inco. None. Booster. None. We'll meet them on 5-3. We see the nozzle starting off on 5-3. Copy.